What's up guys, it is time to start working on this Buick finally. First, let's take a look at what's wrong with it and I'll show you what we're gonna do to fix it. So what we've got is a complete loss of brake pressure because it ran out of fluid. So what I did was crawled under here and took a look. And what I found was right about here, there's a brake line up above this that is broken and is losing all the fluid. That's the brake line to this wheel over here. So what I've done is you can see it on both sides and then it disappears over top of this. Now, rather than pull this entire cross member out, which I really don't want to do, I am going to take it, disconnect it from this side, cut it over here, and we're just going to run a new one over and above this. I'll just feed it through one side to the other. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is a little tip, if you're trying to replace metal brake line and you don't know what size you need to get or what the fittings are or whatever, I'm going to take this fitting back here loose from the back of the brake hose. I'm going to take this, pull it down and cut the end of it off, take the entire line and the fitting with me to the parts store. And that way I know that I'm getting the right thing and I know that it's going to fit. Okay. And I took the bolt out of this bracket to drop the hose down and out of the way. I'm just going to tuck it over here so I'm not messing with it. And here is the other end of this line. I'm just going to cut it back here a little ways bring this with me to get all the parts that we need and to cut this all i'm using is a small tubing cutter made specifically for brake lines you can pick these up at any part store you don't need a necessarily a specific kind but you just tighten a little and spin it around it tighten it a little bit more keep doing that keep turning it around and eventually it will cut through it, which will leave a nice clean cut, but I'm not really worried about that because I'm not going to reuse this line anyway. But if you were to be trying to flare a line or something, you would want to use this kind of tubing cutter for that reason. There you go. So now I have a sample of my uh, tubing and the type of flare I'm going to need to make and everything. Uh, the other tools that I'm going to need are going to be a flaring kit. I just picked this one up pretty cheap from Harbor Freight, but it does have all the major flares that you would need to make. It even has a little thing for cleaning out the inside of the tubing. So I think it's going to do fine for this repair. So next, it's off to the parts store. So back from the parts store, I got one pretty long piece of line here and a shorter one in case I needed it. And I got a union to put some together and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. But one thing to note on these, these are, if you'll notice here, a 3 16th. So they are a standard size line with a single flare, but they have M10 fittings on them. So they are one of the partially standard partially metric lines but that's what you'll need to have the correct fittings for this so the next thing i'm going to do is take this big one i'm going to put it in through this side kind of pre-shape it a little bit and get it to come out right over here and then i'll show you how we're going to connect it so what i've got here the line is run back there behind the hose all the way to the other side it's screwed in and the hose has been put back. So now on the other side, we've got this line hanging out right here, which we're gonna put up in there and do some routing. We're gonna cut this other line about here and I'm just gonna flare that and we're going to join the two right here, I think. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see this next part. What I've done is I have fed this line through the crimping device to equal to the base of this piece. Then we flip this piece over, stick it in the line like that. Well, first we gotta get this ready. 
All right, I'm gonna take this, stick this in here, and hook this onto the apparatus here, which we're gonna have to loosen it a little bit more to do. Yep, still not quite there. This is a little tight to do on the car, but you can get there if you just keep working at it. It just takes a little effort and a little time. Okay, once we've got that all the way on to where it's grabbed the sides here, we're just gonna snug it down. Then you're gonna hold, and this is the difficult part, hold it with one hand and turn this with the other hand and let it flare that line. Take your time, don't force it very fast. You don't want it to crack. This is a brand new line, so it shouldn't crack anyway, but you don't want to give it that option. Then once you've got it as tight as it'll go, like that, you just back this part off until it'll let you take it out. Take this outside part off, like so, and you've got a single flare right there. A single or bubble flare, however you want to call it. But that's what that is. Then that will fit into one side of our adapter right here. Just like this. We'll tighten that up in a minute. That looks like it's going to do fine though. So now the next thing we've got to do before we bend this back into place and finish putting it together. Is we've got to take the piece on the car here. I'm gonna pull it down to get myself some space because you can bend it a little bit and still bend it back. And we're gonna go ahead and flare that too. But before we do that, I need a nut to put on that one, which I'm just gonna steal from the other piece that we had. basically done what I've done that I did off camera here's the line finished up and zip tied to the other line just so it doesn't move around then on the other side it's one solid piece all the way over to here and connected to the back of this hose what I did was I bled both sides out there was a lot of air on this side uh, didn't get any out of the other side and now I'm going to put everything back together and move it a little bit and see what the brake pedal feels like. There's a possibility because the right rear and the left front are on the same circuit that I may need to bleed the front also. It depends on how low the fluid level got. I'll know once I move the car if the pedal feels right or not. So I'm gonna get this together and we'll see where we're at. Just got back from the final test drive. Brakes feel good again. So I do not think I got any air in the front. Take one last look under here just to make sure that we don't have any leaks anywhere. And it is looking good. I don't see anything dripping. I do like to look for a minute just to make sure, but I don't see anything. It looks like we've got it. Looks like we're in good shape. So that is it. The Buick is back in action again. Uh, any more questions about hard metal brake lines? I have another video about it, but it's not very good. So you can drop them down in the comments. I'll let you know what I think. If there's anything you think I should cover more about this subject, also let me know down in the comments. Drop me a like on this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and peace.